So I've been making a lot of apps on this channel, and every time I create an app, I ask myself the same question over and over again. How can I make it easier for you guys to create an app as well as for myself to create an app? In other words, how can I streamline and simplify the whole process of creating apps? After all, this channel is about no code. So we want as little code as possible, and we want the best apps, the most interesting apps that we can build. And as a result, I took it upon myself to build a little tool that's going to help you a lot when it comes to building all kinds of interesting apps. So I want to show you this tool right now. And then a little bit later in the video, I want to ask for your help as to how we can make this tool even better. So let me give you a quick overview of what this tool is and how it can help you to create apps a lot easier and a lot faster. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to log in using our Google account. So once I log in using my Google account, the next thing that we see are the list of projects that are associated with that particular Google account. So with this account that I just logged in, I have three projects that I created in that specific account. So depending on how many projects you have, you may see three projects, you may see one project, you may see more or less. It depends on how many projects you have. And this is the project that I typically work with when I am building different apps, including the apps for this channel. So if I click on this, the next thing that we see are the different collections in this particular project. Now, this is rapid base. So the collections you're seeing are your Firestore DB collections. So if I go into my Firebase dashboard right here, you will see that I have exactly the same connections. I have chats, expenses, prompts, and users. And this is exactly what you're seeing here. Now, the next thing that you can do is you can click on the collection and you can look at the documents inside of it. So if I click right here, I see all the documents inside of this expenses collection, right? I can modify the data very, very easily. So I can click here and I Let's say I don't want 1500, I want 1000. I can just click, change the number, click out, and it automatically updates uh, the document inside of this collection. So now this document is a thousand. The next thing that I can do is I can duplicate various documents, and that way it's gonna create a new documents with the same data. And I'm gonna show you that functionality a little bit later when I show you a really, really awesome functionality that you're absolutely gonna love. Now, the next feature is a feature that I'm super excited about. And this is gonna be a feature that's gonna save you a ton of time. And this is a feature here. So if you click on this button right here in your specific project, you're gonna see this prompt. And this is where you can create a brand new collection uh, with the data that you specify. So let's say we call it test and I specify five records. And let's say I want a collection of cars, uh, makes, models, and maybe approximate price. So I can just say something like car brand, car model, car price, something like this, okay? And, and it should create five documents or five records in this collection. So we're gonna say submit form, and it's executing the request, and it's gonna come back with the collection, with the data that you specify. Okay, so it finished doing everything, and now we are looking at five randomly created documents in this new test collection that consists of various car, car models, car price, and car brands. So 911 Carrera, which is Porsche, M4, which is BMW, G-Class, Mercedes-Benz, uh, car prices, and things like that. So this is really, really nice, right? This is great in those situations where you need a ton of random data for a specific project. Now, I can delete this collection by clicking here, so I can do that. I can hit confirm, and now when I come back, I don't have that collection anymore. So let's try to create another collection. Let's let's create a bigger collection. So let's call it um, sample. And let's say I want 20 records and I want a list of uh, male avatars, for instance. Okay, so something like male first name, male last name. Let's fix that. Uh, male age and male location, male city. Okay, so let's try that. Submit this. It's executing our request and it should come back with a brand new collection 
with 20 records of the data that we specify. All right, so it came back with our brand new collection called Sample. And here we have those records. So it looks like we have the records that we wanted, right? Male first name, male last name, male age, male city. And so we have a random uh, list of documents of different male avatars. And obviously you can create another collection with different fields, different values, things like that. So if you like this collection, you can start using it inside of your no code builder app, right? Whether it's Flutterflow or anything like that. I know me personally, this specific feature is going to save me a ton of time as I'm building different apps. And I'm sure you're probably going to feel the same because creating this random data, this structured data is painful, right? And this does it for you automatically. And obviously you can edit this data if you want. So maybe you want to change this Ryan to John. You can just click out, document is updated, and this is all automatic. You can reload it. And here's our John that we changed. We can change it to Bill. Okay, and if you reload it, we see Bill now. Okay, so it's a complete data management system. You can duplicate it. You can also delete this collection if you want. So let's say we don't really need this collection. I'm going to click here. I'm going to confirm, delete it, and it's gone. That collection is now gone. All right. So really, really nice features. You can modify data. You can create data simply by describing it. going to be very, very useful. All right. So now that you've seen some of the features here, and let me show you this feature that you're absolutely going to love because it's going to save you a ton of time when it comes to building amazing apps, okay? Now, if you notice, I have this chats collection here. So if we click on this, you will see I have this chats collection and I have an ID, I have a name, and I have a prompt, okay? And this is a very, very special collection because using this collection, you can very, very easily communicate with chat GPT without writing any code whatsoever. So. The only thing that you have to do is you need to create this collection. I have one collection. You can duplicate. You can create another collection if you want. And now you're pretty much done when it comes to writing chat GPT messengers or pretty much any kind of chat GPT based apps. Let me show you exactly how this works. Now, once I've configured this collection, once I have this collection here, I have this collection automatically created for me in Firebase. I essentially have an app at this point. I don't need any logic at all. I don't need to send an API request. I don't need to do anything at all. Let me show you how cool it is. So I have a simple Flutterflow app that basically loads that collection and asks the user to input a question. Okay, so if I run this app, you will see this is a very, very simple app. So if I run this app right here, all right, so here's our app. And as you can see, we're immediately displaying this specific chat that was created using this app right here. We have this chat right here immediately displayed. And if we click on it, we can have a conversation uh, with ChatGPT essentially without writing any logic. So for instance, remember we have the prompt that we created, and this is going to be the prompt that's going to be automatically sent to ChatGPT with our conversation, right? This is kind of what the prompt looks like. I can modify it and essentially it says, you're my expert on Italy. I'll ask you questions, et cetera, et cetera. And so if I go back to uh, Flutterflow, I can say like, what's, I can say, what's the capital? What's the capital? It knows we're talking about Italy. So I can say, what's the capital? And there's the response. The capital city of Italy is Rome. Okay. And I can keep talking to it. I can say like, uh, what cities should I visit on my vacation trip? Okay. And we get a response. There are so many beautiful cities in Italy that you can visit on your vacation trip. Here's a list of some of the most popular ones. And we get a list of some of the cities. Now, what's interesting about this specific app is that it has no logic whatsoever. We're not doing any API calls. We're not doing crazy logic, right? So if we come back to the app right here, right? So if we go to the screen right here, we are where we are sending the question that we're asking, right? We only have two actions. And really it's only one action because this is the action that's saving the message, our message. And that's all it's doing. Everything else is taken care by the app, right? Now, if you compare it to our original app, right? This is the app that I wrote like a month ago, right? Take a look at the difference, right? Take a look at this. I open it up. We have six actions, right? Take a look at this. We need to 
create this. We need to, you know, do a backend call. We need to check if it's successful. We need to do all this. And all of this, you don't no longer need to do. Because the only thing that you need to do is save that message that the user is typing with that one action. That's the only thing that you need to do, right? And moreover, I can come back to the app and let's say I want to duplicate it. Well, I just duplicate it and now I have another one, right? So now I have another one. So I can say this is going to be chat about France. And I can say, you are my expert on France. I'll ask you questions, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so now we have another chat. And now I can go back into uh, our projects and we have two chats created. I can go back to the app. I can go back and we have a chat about France now. And I can open it up and I can ask more questions, right? I can say, what's the cap? Okay, and there it is. The capital of France is Paris. So essentially, you don't need to write any code at all in Flutterflow. You don't need to do any logic whatsoever. You're essentially controlling the whole chat GPT experience using this tool right here. The only thing that you need to do in Flutterflow is to create screens that actually display the data, okay? And really, this is just the start. This is just to give you an idea of some of the things that you'll be able to do with this app. And so in my view, this is probably one of the cooler features uh, when it comes to kind of automating uh, a lot of the logic, a lot of the flows, simplifying things. Because for me personally, it's a lot easier to create my own messengers and chatbots using this interface here instead of creating all of these workflows and things like that. And obviously, I also like this feature when it comes to creating collections and seeding it with data. So if you want to create a collection of different cars, if you want to create a collection of different furnitures, different cities, states, you just need, you know, 100 records for the app that you're building. Well, you don't need to do it using a bunch of steps. You can now do it inside of the app. And so obviously this is just the beginning. This is an app that I am going to be building over time. I'm going to be adding more features, but I really, really need your help. So if you think you're going to find this app useful in your workflow, if you think an app like this is going to help you when it comes to building no code apps, uh, when it comes to simplifying Firestore DB and simplifying Firebase, things like that, then I would really, really love for you guys to help me out and kind of build out the features that you think are going to make your lives easier. And so right now I'm looking for beta testers. I'm looking for people that I can give access to this app and in exchange, you will tell me some of the things that you'd like to see and also report some of the bugs or some of the kind of behavior that isn't exactly correct to me as well so if that is something that you'd like to do then i'm going to have a link below this video where you can sign up to the beta testing program and so if you're interested you can sign up using the link below and i'm going to give you a free access to the sap and you can log in and connect this app to your own uh, Firebase projects and start kind of playing around with it. Now, if you looked at the app and you see a lot of promise in terms of the direction that it might go, in terms of the, some of the functionalities that are going to help you create uh, better apps, create apps faster. This was definitely my motivation when it came to actually thinking about creating an app like this in order to kind of streamline my own processes when it comes to building no-code apps, then you definitely need to join my Patreon community because on my Patreon community, not only will you get access to all the Flutterflow apps that I've built where you can easily view and or clone pretty much any of the app that I've built on this channel, but you also get access to extra content such as Q and A's, live streams, behind the scenes content, and my Patreon exclusive masterclass series where I do a deep dive on a specific topic that a lot of people are struggling with. And so in the near future, I'm going to be doing a masterclass on a topic that the community is going to vote on. But above all, on my Patreon, we're going to be discussing some of the functionalities in this app. And so if you want to join that discussion and if you want to help make this app better, make this app useful to everybody, then I definitely urge you to join our amazing Patreon community and you're going to see a link to it in the description below this video. So if you're not yet a member 
I definitely urge you to check it out and consider subscribing. Now, if you're looking for an actual video where I built an app using Flutterflow, check out the video you're seeing in the corner of your screen right now. You're going to see an awesome tutorial that's going to help you to build an amazing no-code app.